Hello guys, Ozman here. So I'm sitting at home on a Tuesday night and I'm bored because the Reddit Omega War turned out to be a bit of a joke. And I sent a message out in the FPC scrim chat just saying, hello, has anyone got any attacks they want to show? And a guy named Erlokski said, why not come to a clan called Rush and have a look. We had a cool war. So this will be part of the Traveling Odds series. Uh, Rush, I should have shown their warlog. Good clan, 274 wins, 87 losses, 11 draws. And it's pretty green all the way down. I would put these guys, they're not running like masses of tens or anything like that, but Wins are wins in a good clan. Who wins that many wars? Obviously fairly solid. So I've got a few from this last war that they said were cool. I haven't really watched them. So I'll watch them with you. And we'll have a chat. We'll start with the top. This is Robin. I believe this is a 10 on 10. Um, fairly symmetrical base. But 10 on 10 is always tough. The um, core of this base is nuts. The guy does seem to have two singles. So when he comes in here with his Valks, he should just shred the center of this, but it's going to be all about the funnel. So he's got bowlers on each side with a couple of healers, and they're going to sort of straighten everything up. And it looks like he's going to enter from sort of eight o'clock. He's got to go through a couple sets of walls, put a haste down and those Valks just absolutely shred through that. CC comes out, it's a dragon, he's only got one poison spell for that and it looks like a double jump freeze rage for the core and where he's lost some of the bowlers the healers have retargeted onto the main pack of Valkyries. Queen is on her own, but she's only getting hit by a cannon. Those Valks went through the core of that base in like five seconds. And there's quite a few of them still on full health. Bowlers were stuck on a wall for a bit. Um, the ones that were down near six o'clock. Some of his healers have managed to keep a giant alive. Love the intelligence of healers. Um, but yeah, clean. Not the toughest base in the world, but if you can shred it in, what was that? Probably two minutes. I'll check the attack time. I didn't check it at the beginning. One minute 50. It's still sexy. Uh, the next one, number seven. I'll show a few that they chose and then I'll pick a couple at random. These guys are part of the fair play community. I am still allowed in these chats, even though I'm part of Golden Goblins, who is no longer welcome in the fair play community. That's another issue. Um, no healers on the queen straight away, but he does have a queen walk happening. Minions down just to make sure she goes in the right direction. And as soon as she gets sort of into that wall, the um, main portion of the attack has come in from the other side. So a couple of golems down, loads of whizzies, big funnel being made, basically. And he's got predominantly hogs, and I would assume bowler CC. Everyone's using bowlers at Town Hall 9 at the moment. So the golems head in, they're onto a Tesla does have a jump, one rage, two heals left, and his CC was actually, I think that was mainly Valks. And one bowler. To enemy king down, queen stuck on the CC hound. He didn't have a whole pile of Valks, so like his Valks and his king are gonna go through, that bowler is gonna tail behind, and now he's just got a like, surgical hog from 
eight o'clock around the outside of this base. There's only uh, maybe two double bomb spots and neither of them are very good. So I expect he runs into some springs and possibly a single or two here. But his hogs are going to make make their way around the bottom of the base. He's got a couple whizzies left for a cleanup. And there's the bomb. Skelly's all over the place. Queen finally got through those pups. And she's going to sort out that Tesla. Everything's just going to tank through this attack. It's kind of a way to bully. Bully through it. There's the other bomb. That was the double spot that I thought was possibly not as effective as it could have been. So once the queen's ability is down, that is pretty much a wrap. King's going to live on like an absolute slither of health. And we're on cleanup. So yeah, these guys. I um, really got no clan history or history of this war. I do know they arranged wars. I would expect that you could hit them up. And they're probably quite happy to arrange. I would say they probably run like fewer. I didn't see an 11 in the clan. So I reckon it's probably like 10s, 9s. I don't know if they had any 8s in this. I'll scroll down to the bottom and find out. So Phil Dirt here coming in with a queen walk from sort of 2 o'clock. And he's going to make a funnel hogs in to take out that archer tower and they're going to pull the CC. Dragon minion CC and the queen is going to deal with this with a poison. Possibly going to need the ability. Yeah. And this is like just mass Velks. I did watch this attack before I'm recording it. There's a fantastic baby dragon in this attack that comes in in a second so queen's just working her way around the base she's got whizzies like sort of supporting they're not really going to catch any fire for a second this baby dragon in from three o'clock straight onto the army camp kind of going to support the bowlers which have healers and then he's got mass velks who are just going to shred through the core of this base while those bowlers walk around the outside. But keep your eye on this baby dragon. If you want 10 troop space value, I think it's on structure number four. And I reckon it takes out about eight more before it doesn't die. So a jump spell through the middle of Valks have just gone mental. They have gone the right way, which is towards the cannon and the archer tower, which are on the far side of the base, which kind of the only threats left. The bowlers are going to get through this whizzy tower, no problem, mortar, not an issue. And his king still doing damage up top. That baby dragon, look at it. Possibly nothing, nothing else could hit that. Or it would be dead. And a swag poison spell. We fast forward. I will take a sip of beer. I'll run one more. I'll just pick it absolutely at random. So I have no idea what we're going to watch. Uh, and this is Sergeant Lax. Town Hall 8. They do run 8. So these guys would fall into the um, light, light, sort of lightweight category of a range wars, but they're there. Hit them up. I should hit these guys up with Maynards. That would be a fun war. So he's pulled the CC Dragon. Poison has possibly missed. Double Poison is going to hit. And that's going to sort of the loon. The um, Town Hall 8 CC kill can be tough because without that queen, you've just got to rely on like whizzies. 
So the poison there did what it needed to do, which is just slow everything down. He only needed a few whizzies to take care of it. And his golem in from sort of 7 o'clock with wall breakers is going to give him access to like a massive sort of cross in the middle of the base. And he's just going to shred this with hogs, I reckon. The double bomb spots are about to be dealt with with this golem. He's going to heal that stuff down. There's the double bomb. Once he sees that, he can just trickle in hogs. And he's got just heal spells from everywhere. I miss Town Hall 8. Town Hall 8 was when... I don't want to say that the game was more exciting, but certainly when I started playing this, I rushed like mad to get to Town Hall 8 because that's when you got the cool wizards. That's when you got like the... Peckers. Oh, I never use Peckers anymore, but they were fun at the time. And as soon as you got level 4 Hawks, that's when shit got real. People were spamming dragons while I was doing Hog attacks, and I thought I was special. And then I found the actual war community. He's got Hogs down for cleanup in this. Town Hall 8 revisited. Rush, thank you very much for giving me 15 minutes of fun on a Tuesday night while the wife's still at work. I'll just show the result. They did perfect. See you guys.